Hi everyone, my name is Greta Thunberg. I am a 16 year old climate activist from Sweden. I am grateful for being with you here in the USA, a nation that to many is the country of dreams. I also have a dream. I have a dream that people in power, as well as the media, start treating this crisis like the existential emergency it is. So then I could go home to my sister Beata and my dogs, because I miss them. In fact, I have many dreams. But this is the year 2019. This is not the time and place for dreams. This is the time to wake up. This is the moment in history we need to be wide awake. And yet, wherever I go, I seem to be surrounded by fairy tales, business leaders, elected officials, all across the political spectrum, spending their time making up and telling bedtime stories that soothe us, that make us go back to sleep. These are feel-good stories about how we are going to fix everything and how wonderful everything is going to be when we have sold everything. But it is time to face the reality, the facts, the science. And the science doesn't mainly speak of great opportunities to create the society we always wanted. It tells of unspoken human sufferings, which will get worse and worse the longer we delay action. Stop telling people that everything will be fine, when in fact, as it looks now, it won't be very fine. Some of you may have heard that we have 12 years as from January 1st, 2018, to cut our emissions of carbon dioxide in half. But I guess that hardly any of you have heard that is for a 50% chance of staying below a 1.5 degrees Celsius global temperature rise above pre-industrial levels. 50% chance. So a 50% chance, a statistical flip of a coin. Would any one of you step onto a plane if you knew it had a 50% chance of crashing? More to the point, would you put your children on that flight? We had, on January 1st, 2018, about 420 gigatons of CO2 left to emit in that carbon dioxide budget. And of course, that number is much lower today, as we emit about 42 gigatons of CO2 every year if you include land use. With today's emissions levels, that remaining budget is gone within less than eight and a half years. These numbers are not my opinions. They aren't anyone's opinions or political views. This is the current best available science, though a great number of scientists suggest even these figures are too moderate. These are the ones that have been accepted by all nations through the IPCC. The USA is the biggest carbon polluter in history. It is also the world's number one producer of oil. And yet, you are also the only nation in the world that has signaled your strong intention to leave the Paris Agreement. Because, quote, it was a bad deal for the USA. 420 gigatons of carbon dioxide left to emit on January 1st, 2018. Now that figure is already down to less than 360 gigatons. These numbers are very uncomfortable. But people have the right to know. And the vast majority of us have no idea these numbers even exist. In fact, not even the journalists 
that I meet seem to know they exist. Not to mention the politicians. And yet, they all seem so certain that their political plan will solve the entire crisis. But how can we solve a problem that we don't even fully understand? How can we leave out the full picture and the current best available science? I believe there's a huge danger in doing so. Our main enemy right now is not our political opponents. Our en main enemy now is physics. And we cannot make deals with physics. Thank you.